you can now build an entire working app from scratch without any coding knowledge. In the next 10 minutes, I will show you how I set up a project, connect to database, define authorization, and connect to a custom domain. And to do that, I will be using my two new favorite tools. One of them is Lovable, and the second one is Superbase. We've got loads to cover, so let's get started. So what we'll be making today? Let me give you a little bit of a background. I'm a senior product designer, and I've been in design industry for 12 years. On top of that, I love to train MMA and I'm a huge fitness fan. So creating a workout app will be a straightforward choice. Well, there are already loads of great apps on the market and I'm using some of them. So I'm gonna try to leave the best features of each of them and transform into one app. So what is Lovable? Basically, it's an AI developing tool. You just type a prompt and it's gonna give you an entire app, website, dashboard, you name it. It can code everything. What I love about this the most is that Lovable is not only a front-end app, so the visual set, but also the back-end app. With the latest upgrades, you can build a product that can easily go into app stores and no one will notice you haven't code a single line of code. If you are a designer like me, you can export your designs directly to Lovable. Simply select frames you want to export and open the plugin builder.io and then click the smart export. But from my experience, it's much easier to use a lovable prompt tool to start with, and then you can add images as your reference to match the UI. So let's go back to lovable. I added my image designs from Figma as a reference, and I'm just starting with a very simple prompt, create a mobile app. This will be a fitness app. We're starting with using onboarding first. As you guys can see, now the lovable is uh, creating some mobile development for me. It took me maybe 15 minutes to design the Figma screens and upload them to Lovable and it created like even the screens that I haven't designed. Uh, we can preview the code obviously and all the files it created. So we have access to code, we have option to connect to mobile device, we can connect it to GitHub which I'm gonna do right in a second and we can carry on with the rest of the app. I have now recreated all the onboarding screens I had in Figma and translate them into Lovable. So you guys can see we have the start screen where we can sign in on register. On the sign in, we also have the forgot password authorization where we can type the email and then we're gonna receive the verification code. As you guys can see, the email is working and we received a verification code. So let's paste it there and let's see if it's all good. So we can set the new password. I have connected everything to the database, which is the super base by clicking the green button. So we can now go to our database, which I have no idea what's going on inside, but everything was super straightforward. I only use the lovable prompt to set up everything. We can basically set everything in the database. For example, while creating an account, we can select the password length, the password requirements, uh, if they need to confirm the email, like basically everything that normal app would do. So now I've from the second part of the app, which is the main part of the app, I want user to be able to click uh, create a new plan and then have a chit chat solution when the AI will be chatting with the user what they want to achieve. And based on that, we're going to create a custom plan just for them. Now the lovable set, it will create a database for me based on the input I just said. So we want to have the workout plans, the questions, the answers. We're going to click apply changes and wait for results. If you want to use AI in our app, we need to get the AI keys, which is not that difficult at all. Just sign up to the open AI and I'm going to click the create new secret key. Now I've copied my API key from the open AI and I paste it into the lovable chat. And let's wait for the magic. It looks like everything is ready. So now I'm going to test if the AI is actually working and it's going to give me a workout plan. So let's sign in with my test account. Welcome to your fitness journey. Create a personalized workout plan. Turn to your sport goals and fitness level. Create your workout plan. What's your sport? MMA, PG. We need to change that to multi-select. Gym on home, gym. How many sessions? Let's say two, 30 minutes. Current fitness level, advanced. Do you have any injuries or limitations? Do I? But let's click the knee injury, just in case. What are my main goals? Stronger kick, better cardio. Yes, everything. And let's generate the plan. Let's see if it's gonna work. Error. Oh no. Wow. Can we just type fix it? 
that would be just way too easy if if the first prompt did us a whole working solution and workout plan. But thankfully, we don't need to worry anything about because I just simply said to fix it and it's going to fix it. It found an error. There is a we're generating workout plan error. Now it's fixing it. It's all in real time. Okay, after asking the lovable to fix the same errors multiple times, we finally got the our custom to session weekly plan for advanced level MMA training. Okay, the plan is generated. I'm not gonna go very deep into how it looks at the moment, whether it's a good plan or no. We need to add another functionality on top of that to start our workout and log our reps. So I'm gonna add option to start workout, workout tracker for each workout session. I wanna see today's exercises, log reps, sets and weights mark what called as complete and then I want to have a basic session summary at the end. Okay, it looks like it's added. Let's try if it's actually wor uh, working. So we got day one, good push-ups. Okay, I did 10 push-ups, but we should be doing 8 to 12. Okay, so 10 with zero weights, 10 with zero weights and 8. Okay, not bad. And let's complete the first workout. Workout completed, two exercises, six total sets back to dashboard. So now what we're gonna add is we're gonna add a progress view with the simple graphs and tables, volume lifted over time, personal best per merger lifts. And we also should be able to have a history of our workouts. Why there is no history of our workouts? Okay, let's see if our progress is working. Why? Why? It's actually look really good. So we got the total volume, one workout completed, personal best, we don't have volume yet. Okay, let's log in a session with the squats. And then lunges, each leg, let's say 10. I'm actually putting my actual workout. <laughs> you guys, I will be using that app, definitely. Uh, okay, so let's go back to dashboard. A few things, how we can make it more beautiful, because it's already nice. It's already now good looking and uh, it's responsive as well, almost. Let's prompt this to be change layout on mobile to be more responsive. The prompt I like to use to make it looking even better than it is now is like a think of modern iOS. So let's make it responsive first. Okay, so it's automatically gonna create a mobile friendly navigation system and updating the layouts. This is really helpful. Other option to edit your uh, UI, so how it's look like would be to uh, click the edit button, select to edit, and we can select which part of our app we want to edit. So for example, this div, we can select the background if needed. We can have the border radius, uh, more spacing, less spacing. We can remove stuff from our app like this as well. We can also just upload the image with the reference, which style we like. So I've uploaded the image and I'm gonna ask to change UI of the main app to match the reference. I like gradient graphs. Okay, it is updating. However, I'm not sure where it took the blue color from because as the reference, it's there is just black and white and previous part of the apps, the reference, my reference I designed in Figma was green line. So I'm not sure where is this blue coming from. Let's see when it's finishing. Maybe it has some solid idea. I've asked for gradients, but I asked for the gradient graphs. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay, it transformed all my green buttons into blue. So we're gonna quickly fix that. I'm not entirely satisfied with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reverse to our previous state. We can do that simply by clicking restore and it's gonna go back to my how it looked before I added this prompt. I'm gonna carry on with adding more complex function, but let's try it first if we have our base sorted. So we can of course preview it on a browser, opening the new tab. So this is the our app, this is the beginning. Let's create an account. So I'm on text, no, I'm 107, test 107 at gmail.com. Okay, so all the UX is here. We can preview the password. We can switch to sign in. Uh, that's useful for mobile. We're gonna hit next. Okay, welcome to your fitness journey. We can now create our workout plan. Now let's try it different this time. Let's say I'm a power lifter. I have access to gym, of course. 
I want to have three sessions per week, 60 minutes, I'm intermediate, not lower back pain and knee pain. Okay, what we want to have is injury prevention, strength, what else, explosive movement, uh, get stronger at squats and deadlift. Let's see if we give very specific prompt. Okay, give us the same plan. Three session weekly, day one, day two. Where are the three days? Okay, I've added the prompt to create the best plan possible for the user. The plan needs to be bespoke based on the user input, act as a professional personal trainer. And let's hope next time I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna have different plan because so far it gave me the exact same plan exact same exercises, exact same sets and reps. The only thing it changed is the workout duration. Now it's showing 60 minutes, but two exercises probably, it's more like half an hour. Once that is fixed in, what I like to do is, of course, test this on different devices. So because it's a euro based, we can again hit the open preview in the new tab. So then it's lo loading the latest version. We can grab the URL and test on either tablet or mobile or both. Okay, so now we have training environment using ChatGPT 4.12 comprehensive prompting, blah, blah, blah. Let's go and try to create a new plan. Error, <laughs> what's happening? So what I like to do as well when I receive an error, I can just go right click inspect, go click the console log, and I'm just gonna copy that and paste into Lovable and wait for its magic. So let's recap what we have created so far. We got the authorization, so user can sign in, they can uh, click forget password, get the uh, code, then they can reset password and login back again. We have connected to the database using Superbase. With, uh, we have some ID, workout session, exercise name, sets completed, target sets, reps, like everything is done there. We implemented API to generate workouts for us with using the API keys from the open AI and all of that without writing a single line of code. And now also we fix the custom workout plans. So it's acting as a professional personal trainer. So it gave us a nice proper workout, which we can log as well. I will fix all the little issues, but the majority of the app is working. It's giving us the plan with little explainer we can, of course, start our workout and log in what we did. Then we can track our progress or we can create new plan. So everything, it took me maybe three hours to make, which is really amazing because I only provided the first two screens from Figma. I designed earlier because I wanted to show him like the choice of topography, like the colors I'm using. So I needed a little bit of input and the rest we created in Lovable without designing, we just were prompting the other stages. So I think this is not only a great tool for people who want to create their own app from scratch, but, but also for product designer, UI UX, product managers who want to just try their idea or maybe just brainstorm different solutions. Because sometimes simple thing like, let's say, creating a user account can be done in so many different ways. And this is much easier to create this working app, which you can share URL and test with other people, get their feedback, then tweak and prompt to, this, to the solution you're happy with. And then you can carry on vibe coding the rest of the app. Or if you're already working in organization, you can just give them working solution and then they can do whatever they want with it. So I think the AI and vibe coding is a massive advantage for us rather than disadvantage. Because I still feel like I need to change the whole design and UX of the app I've just created. But the idea is there. Everything is working how it should be working. So for me as a designer, I will be using Lovable a lot right now to test my ideas and different solution. I think it takes similar amount of time for me to prompt and get the solution I have in mind rather than design everything in Figma and trying to prototype all the edge cases. So it's good to know the tools like Lovable exist and how you can use them for free. If you guys want to try your own idea creating an app, you can find all the links below in the description. I will also share at some point the final version of the app in there as well for you to test it. If you have any questions, leave them down below and catch me on Instagram. See you next time. Bye.